Hey everybody, this is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab and in this video I'm going to show you how to upload a PDF via the WordPress Media Library. So here we are on the WordPress dashboard. All you have to do, go to Media, hover over it, click on Add New. Then when you see this dashed rectangular box where it says Drop Files, you can drop a file there or you can click on the Select Files button to browse the files in your computer. I already have a blank demo PDF created over here, so I'm just going to drag it and drop it. We saw a small short progress bar there, and we have actually now uploaded the PDF. This is a standard thumbnail on the left here that, that signifies a PDF upload. You can click on the edit link, and you can edit a few of the details. You can add a caption, you can add a description and then it gives a little bit of information on the right hand side about the PDF, the size, the name, stuff like that. And now we can actually embed that into a WordPress post or page, which I'll quickly show you as well, because it's really quick to do. Let's uh, create a new page. It's the same process for adding to posts and pages. So we're gonna create a page. This is my PDF, it's gonna be the title. We click down on the main content area, click on add media. And here's our blank demo PDF, which is just a blank page, by the way. So it's, it's a really small file. That's the reason I did that. I'm just going to add a better title, more readable title, add a caption and a description, and click on Insert into Page. Now WordPress adds just a regular old link. The anchor text for the link is the title that we just entered and then it links to the PDF. So if we click on publish, we can see how this works. It's now published, we click on view page. Here's the link called blank demo. When we click on that, we get our beautiful blank demo PDF. And now you can do this with any of your PDFs. You can also, to, to improve the usability or the, the user experience a little bit, Instead of having a blank demo link, you could have a small PDF icon if, if that was suitable for the, for the way you're incorporating the PDF into your site. Or you can just leave it as a link the way WordPress outputs it. Anyhow, I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Make sure you follow, subscribe, and check out WPLearningLab.com where we talk about WordPress every single day. See you soon.